All right, I got another rimfire gel test video for you today. We're gonna do, compare these two, the CCI A22 Magnum Game Point versus the CCI A17 uh, for the 17 HMR. This is 22 WMR, 22 Magnum. Um, so obviously the same packaging and whatnot, just different calibers. However, on this one, we got a Game Point soft point bullet, which I'll show in a second, but this one is a ballistic tip bullet using 10% ballistics gelatin today. I got two different kinds. I'm trying to do that in all my videos. Some of you guys like the clear, some prefer the Knox. So I'm using both. And before I forget, that's what they look like. So there's your little ballistic tip for the A17. And then you got these soft tips here that they call game points on the 22 Magnum. This is my first remelt of the clear ballistics calibration on that is coming in right at 3.25 inches right now today on that block and then i got my knocks here calibration is coming in on this at 3.75 ignore all this i was playing around with different bb guns and pellet guns and whatnot but we're coming in 375 right there so it's the very end of the maximum allowable for that to be within calibration but we are in calibration there i've been experimenting with uh, the amount of water I add when I melt these back down because when you melt them back down they get thicker because the water evaporates. I put a little too much water in there. More, I'm trying to get it somewhere in between uh, 275 and 375 which is or something like that's within spec. I know 375 is the very end there and that's where we're coming in at. So the block's a little thin today but still within spec. So we'll put each round into each block and uh, you'll probably see a pretty decent difference between the blocks. Um, like I said, I'm including both because some swear by one, swear by some swear by the other. Uh, but I have made a video explaining the differences between these two blocks. So if you want to know about that, I will link that video in the description. Rifles I'm using today for the 22 Magnum is the brown there, tan or whatever you would call it. Rossi RS22M. And then I got my Savage 93R17 here for the 17 HMR. I'll put a link in the description if you want to see review videos on each of these rifles. Uh, I would also recommend you check out the 22 playlist on the channel. We'll have everything rimfire in there, including all these gel tests we've been doing. Advertised velocity for the 22 Magnums is 2100 feet per second. 2650 on the 17 HMR, which is 100, 100 feet per second faster than normal for a 17 grain ballistic tip. These are aimed at semi-automatic rifles uh, with help with uh, proper circulation and feeding and whatnot. So I don't think these are really that fast for 35 grain, but these definitely have a little extra advertised velocity to help cycle that action. All right, we'll do 22 Magnum in both locks first, and then we'll do the 17 HMR chronograph is set to feet per second. All right, there's entry on the Knox with the 22 Magnum. There's the side view. Again, uh, ignore all the pellets and BBs where I was playing around with different air rifles. There's a slug. And then there's through the clear. That's a pretty nice channel for clear gel. Again, check out that link explaining the differences between these two. And our slug resting right down in there. Get a measurement on these real quick. All right, so we're mid-shoot here, but I also wanted to remind you guys that we will be shooting these at 50 and 100 yards as well, not just point-blank range like that. Um, so we'll have that coming up soon, and all the other ones we've been testing here close range, we will do at 50 and 100 yards as well, uh, potentially further at a later date. All right, so in the Knox, we're coming in. Just a hair shy at 10 and a half from my point of view. Sometimes the camera makes it look a little different. 
And then in this cleared block, about 11, where's that at? There it is. About 11 and three quarters. Now when we're done here, I'll definitely pick these out and we'll take a look at them. Um, so we got some more penetration in the clear there. Again, this is running a tad thin today. It's still within spec, but it's a little thinner than I'd like it to be. Uh, but we still got less penetration. Maybe that's because it expanded more. We'll see when we pull them out. But uh, that's a somewhat typical result I get with the clear is extra penetration uh, due to less expansion. All right, now the 17 HMR. And sorry about that guys, I did not realize that we got an error and thus did not get a read until editing this video. However, no worries, on the next shot in the clear, we do get a good read. All right, so there's the entry in the Knox with the 17 HMR. It blew out the bottom here, flip this over here. And there's the bottom side. You can see that's absolutely massive. Actually, I'll take a measurement on that here. Two and a quarter, well, if I quit moving there, two and a quarter across and <laughs> that's it for penetration because that sucker just completely exploded so on penetration there coming in about four and three quarters the furthest piece that i see there's nothing left um it does definitely seem to do more damage up close i did uh other vmax tests with the hornady and the cci with the ballistic tips and uh they didn't seem if i remember correctly we got a little more penetration because they weren't quite that explosive so that extra velocity that we are achieving uh, is definitely making them more explosive so it'd be interesting to see what those do at 50 and 100 yards should get more penetration because we should have a base that carries through now on this clear gel over here where typically things stay together a little better you can see there we actually have part of the uh bullet left there so we got more penetration because we actually had some weight to carry through there's your wound cavity on that. Again, you can see that's vastly different. If you want to, you know, try to understand the differences, like I said, I waste too much time talking about it in every video. So just go check that link to the video explaining all the differences. Yes, I know the block's hanging off the edge there and bent and all that, but we are coming in here roughly seven and a half. And again, it depends on how I angle this camera, but I'm looking at seven and a half. So I got another video I'm trying to do real quick with these blocks. So I'm going to film that first before we pluck these out. It'll be just a second for you guys. But if you see a few extra holes, that's why. I'm going to film that video and then we'll get these out and take a look at them. All right, there is our bullets. Now there's only three because remember in the Knox over here, that 17 HMR just completely disintegrated. Um, but in the clear, there's what we got from it. That's what's left from the clear block where we actually had a little base carry through and then there's the 22 magnum through the clear block and then this is the 22 magnum through the Knox brown block get a rudimentary uh, measurement on these real quick all right what's left of that 17 inch and more it's coming in there at about a little over a quarter inch so that's somewhere about 27 28 caliber overall diameter which would be like 0 0.270 point 0.280 on your uh, micrometer caliper gauge whatever which i'm getting here hopefully by the next video so we can stop using this tape measure <laughs> then the 22 magnum through the clear gel we're coming in there a little over three eighths so that's getting close to uh if a half inch would be 50 caliber 0.500 so that's probably coming in there at 40 to 45 caliber overall diameter. And then through the Knox, the 22 Magnum, about the same hair more, I think. It's about the same. Yeah, it looks like maybe just a hair more. 
and there's from the tops again so anyways that's the results like i said later on we'll be testing these again at 50 and 100 yards potentially further at an even later date we'll be doing the same thing with all the other ammunition i test as well again if you want to know the difference in the blocks check the link in the description where i explain that if you want to see the review of the rifles used in this video those will be there too but overall i would just recommend you check out the 22 playlist on the channel for everything rimfire Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you on the next one.